Welcome to Norton Chemistry. Today we're going to be doing a quick revision video on percentage uncertainty, which is a small topic which students often find difficult. We use the formula, percentage uncertainty is equal to the number of readings that we take, multiplied by the uncertainty, divided by the measurement, multiplied by 100. So the percentage uncertainty is simply a way of identifying the level of uncertainty in a reading. So we can do this for volume, temperature, mass. But I'll go through some example calculations. If you've already had a look at percentage uncertainty, feel free to go ahead and do the calculations before me. For volume, the uncertainty in a 25 centimetre cube per pet is plus or minus 0.06 centimetres cubed. And they're asking us to calculate the percentage uncertainty of 25 centimetres cubed of a solution. So if we put that into our formula, we're only taking one reading and our uncertainty is 0.06 and we're dividing by the measurement which is 25 centimetres cubed and then we need to remember to multiply by 100 to convert to a percentage and that gives us 0.24% and then for the next calculation the uncertainty in a 50 centimetre cubed burette is plus or minus 0.05 centimetres cubed. Calculate the percentage uncertainty in a 26.3 centimetre cubed titer. So when we're taking a titration we always do our final and initial measurements so that means we're taking two readings so we need to put that into our formula so it's two times the uncertainty which is 0.05 divided by the total volume which is 26.3 centimeters cubed and then we need to multiply by 100 and that gives us 0.38 percent then for temperature the maximum uncertainty in a thermometer is plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. Calculate the percentage of uncertainty in a temperature change of 25 degrees Celsius. The key word here is change. If we're finding a temperature change, then we have to measure two temperature values. So we need to multiply by two. Then our uncertainty is 0.5 degrees Celsius divided by the total measurement of 25 degrees Celsius multiplied by 100, which gives us 4%. Then for mass, we need to suggest two ways to decrease the percentage uncertainty in order to measure our mass. If we look at our formula, we can see that there's only two real ways that we can reduce the percentage uncertainty. And that's either to decrease the uncertainty on the top of the fraction, or we can increase the measurement on the bottom of the fraction. So to decrease the uncertainty, we would want to use a more accurate mass balance, which measures, for example, to three decimal places rather than two decimal places. And then to increase the measurement on the bottom, we would measure a larger mass. Thanks for watching. I hope that will help you to answer percentage uncertainty questions in your exams. Make sure to check out my website. I've got resources available for purchase, including my notes and flashcards. Also, make sure to check out my other videos. The entirety of Module 2 revision in under one hour should be in the top right-hand corner now.